Hey there, future nurses. Welcome back to our mini lesson series. I'm Nurse Mike, and today we're breaking down the nervous system into two simple parts. The central nervous system, or the CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, or the PNS. We're going to make this info actually stick, and without the fluff. Only the key terms and topics that are constantly tested. And if you want to take your learning even further, check out our Simple Nursing membership and get access to detailed colorful study guides and in-depth videos on every major nursing school topic so that you're fully prepared and confident for every exam. All right, let's get into it. So what exactly is the nervous system? Think of your body as a command center and communication network. The central nervous system is in charge of all the big decisions. Kind of like a CEO, controlling every move, every thought, and every reflex. Now the peripheral nervous system, on the other hand, is the support team, carrying out messages to and from every part of your body. Together, they're a well-oiled machine keeping you alive and functioning. Now let's break these down one at a time, starting with the big boss itself, the CNS. So the central nervous system has two main parts that you need to know for exams. Number one is the brain, and number two is the spinal cord. The brain is kind of like the powerhouse. It's where all the big decisions happen and where emotions, thoughts, and memories are stored. The spinal cord, on the other hand, is like a superhighway, carrying information to and from the body. It also controls some fast reflexes. For example, like pulling away your hand from a hot pan without needing the brain to decide first. Now here's my favorite mnemonic for this one. CNS, simply think, core nervous system. It handles the core of everything. Without CNS, we have no movement, no thoughts, and no life. Boom. Easy to remember, right? Now, the brain is divided into four main lobes. And here's the easiest way to think about it based on their jobs. The frontal lobe is kind of like the front office. It's the problem solver. It's where you plan, make decisions, and control movements. Think of the frontal as the front row leader or the front office for executive function. Now moving over to the parietal lobe. This one handles sensory information, like touch and spatial awareness. So you can think of parietal as the parent of sense or perception of touch and space. Next is the occipital lobe. It's all about vision. So simply think of occipital as optics or vision. And lastly, we have the temporal lobe where hearing, language, and memory live here. It's easy to remember if you simply think of tempo like music or rhythms. Just think temporal is tempo. Music, memory, and even language. Okay, there you have it. You could also think of the acronym FPOT. F for frontal, P for parietal, O for occipital, and T for temporal. Now that's a high yield tip for your exams right there. All right, now moving on to the peripheral nervous system, or the PNS. This includes all the nerves outside the brain and spinal cord. Basically, this is the team that gets stuff done. The PNS takes orders from the CNS and sends back sensory information. Like, ouch, that pan is hot. So here's your memory trick for this one. Simply think performs the nervous system work. The PNS is all about executing and reporting. Now, it's divided into two main branches that you need to know for exams. The PNS branches into two main systems, each with its own job to handle. Number one is the somatic nervous system. This one is all about voluntary movement. It controls your skeletal muscles so that you can move your arm, type, or even walk. Just think somatic is skeletal movement. The next one is the autonomic nervous system. This one handles all the automated stuff. All the things that your body takes care of without you having to think about it. For example, the heartbeat and even digestion. The ANS has it covered. Now, if we divide it even further, we have two other parts here. The sympathetic nervous system. Remember fight or flight? Well, this one is your stress response. When danger hits, it revs up so you can react faster. So think S for stress. And then we have the parasympathetic nervous system. After the stress is gone, this system takes over to help you rest and digest with the parasympathetic nervous system. 
So simply think P for peace and P parasympathetic. Now it's important to note that some stuff fits into both. For example, breathing. Breathing is actually a mixed function. It's mostly automatic, but you can control it too. That's why it's influenced by both systems. So for a quick recap, somatic, think voluntary, and autonomic, simply think automatic. And then again, S is for stress, and P is for peace. Really simple and really sticky. Now let's bring it all together. How do these two systems work together? Think about touching something hot. When your hands feel the heat, the PNS sends a message to your CNS saying, alert, danger. And the CNS processes that information and shoots a message back to the PNS saying, pull your hand back now. All of this process happens in milliseconds, keeping you safe. Pretty amazing, right? All right, future nurses and test takers. Here's a quick recap to lock in your brain for exams and beyond. Remember, the CNS is that core nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, which handles everything important. And next is the PNS. You can think of this as performs nervous system tasks. These are the nerves that connect the rest of your body to the CNS. And the last two here is the somatic or skeletal nervous system for voluntary movement. And the last one is autonomic. Simply think automatic, split into two. Sympathetic for that stress response with dilated pupils and increased heart rate. And parasympathetic is rest and digest. You can think of this one as the peaceful nervous system, slower heart rate, and increased digestion. So be sure to write these down and say them out loud to make them stick. You guys got this. And there you have it. The nervous system broken down, simplified, and you're ready to ace those test questions. Now, if this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and share and make sure to subscribe for more quick lessons and study resources. Oh, and don't forget to check out our links below for exclusive study guides and practice quizzes. We're so proud of you, so keep going strong, future nurses. And always remember, you're unstoppable.